Welcome to this second tutorial about the trading simulator in which we're going to talk about the different scripts that um, affect the function of the of the package. So the first of, of the scripts is going to be the generate data stream. So let's open it in Visual Studio. Um, we have a lot of um, variables but that they are fully commented in order to show you what uh, they are used for. But for example, we have uh, some variables that are used for the cap capital, which um, is the money you have in the, in the um, initial state and the money that is going to evolve uh, during the different operations you make in the, in the stock market. Then we have line parameters. And then we have the prefabs that we are using for for generating the different uh, markers, okay. And then we have uh, time counting events, and uh, I will say that the most important uh, values that you have to check or have in mind all the time are these here that are going to contain the different uh, coordinates of the points we are using to plot the chart. So we have the open value. So the open value is going to be uh, this value here, okay? The one that is uh, beneath the uh, the small rectangle on the lower part. Then we have the open, um, the close, sorry, the close value that is going to be the one on the upper part of the small rectangle. And then you have the the um, how it's called the minimal the mean value and the max value that are the ones that are in the, the bigger rectangle, the one that is longer, okay? So that's the structure of, um, of a marker. The marker has uh, four values and has two rectangles. So uh, let's explain how we generate the initial data. So uh, in fact, what we are doing is generating the, uh, the, the, minimum, the minimum value first by using a random uh, distribution with a volatility parameter that is called ball here. So whenever we use that, we recreate the other values using uh, maximum minimum functions and also uh, a range between that maximum and minimum function. Okay, and with that, we are able to create the, uh, these values here that are random and represent like the first um, the first values of the uh, of the of the stock market evolution. Then the values that are generated in real in real time are in the function uh, fixed update that are here simulation events. So what we are doing here is exactly the same. But uh, as the time is different, we are reducing the volatility by five. Okay. So um, in order to do that, we generate then uh, another time the mean maximum values and we uh, set the replot. Let's check the replot really fast in order to understand how things are, are uh, working. So the replot is just a, a clear chart in which we delete all the, the game objects and uh, of the chart and then we assign again the limits of the in this case I will write these are the new limits for the chart okay and then we change the subtitle and we plot the chart so the plot the chart, what we do is uh, mainly uh, generate uh, horizontal lines here, which are going to be these uh, gray, li gray lines that represent the different uh, um, values of, of the stock market. And then um, what we do is uh, obtain in these vectors here, the bear vector three, um, the uh, local coordinates of the chart 
which are used to create the, the different uh, rectangles. So the rectangles are go max min and go open close. So the go max min will be let's let's just um, make a, a a quick a quick look to the chart. I'm going to do it bigger in order to show you how the um, how the uh, chart works. I'm going to move it. Okay, so let's get, for example, this this one here. So um, the go game object go uh, open close is going to be this small rectangle here, which has a lower value and an upper value. And the go max min is going to be this big rectangle or longer rectangle, okay, that has also a minimum value and a maximum value. So those values are set in this function here. And uh, that's pretty much it regarding the, the scripts. If you have any doubt, please write to us and we'll explain the different points, but uh, we think that with, with these explanations you can understand and modify your scripts uh, properly.